All right, guys, here we go. Workout for November, the warm up for November. I went a little bit more build mobility heavy. I've gotten this down to doing about, about 15 minutes. Um, we're gonna do a mobility section and then a kind of dynamic stretching, stretching section, can't talk today, that you'll do twice and then a core cardio part that's pretty quick that we'll do three times. Um, I'm just gonna kind of talk you through the elements of it. Um, standing. Uh, I'm going to go spinal series. So this one I'll talk you through slowly because some of you guys have not done this before. Um, I always joke with students a lot in this part because it's awkward. You are literally kind of like moving your hips all awkward and stuff. Um, but just go with it. It's a really cool series, but it's really, really goofy initially. So three reps of the neck, left and right, will look like this. One, two, and it's okay if they can't do it at all. Three, and then you'll go three reps back and forth, side, one, two, three, and then you're gonna go three circles in either direction, backwards, sideways, forward, one, two, and then you'll go three in the other direction. Try not to see too much of this or um, too much tucking. It, this, it just stays kind of in one plane. Then the same exact stuff with thoracic spine. So not moving here, here. Slide side to side, one, two, done properly, it should look really weird, like disassociated, three, and then you're gonna go front to back, one, sometimes the hands help, two, three, and then you're gonna circle, one, two, three, right? It's an 80s dance move that we're all familiar with, two, Three, and then the really awkward one is doing the hips. I always joke that it's only weird if we look at each other, but that's gonna look like this. I'm gonna go side to side, so I'm gonna drop one hip and lift the other, one, but I'm not doing anything up here. Two, three, and then I'm gonna do a tuck and extension. So I'm gonna go one, two, but nothing's moving up here. Three, and then you're gonna do really awkward circles with them where you go back, right, forward, left, back, Right, so I'm gonna go three in one direction, three in the other. I'm trying to really disassociate the pelvis so I don't get a bunch of this kind of stuff. Cool, that's the first sequence. Then three in either direction, scapula circles, forward, backward, down, forward, upward, then three in the other direction. Good, not too much of this, but this. Then three on each side, single swimmer arms. One hand over the chest, one elbow up. Good, press the elbow back, reach up. Reach out and behind you as far as you can. Internally rotate the, sh rotate the shoulder. Drive the thumb up to the back, but without resting it. Push, 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 try to touch the back of your head, it should suck. And then down, back, reverse trip. So I'm gonna do three of those on the right, and then three of them on the left. Kind of max safe effort is what I tell people. Um, and then cat-cow. In yoga classes, you always see people kind of doing this thing where they're just bending back and forth. I'm trying not to treat the spine like it's a just one bendable object. I want to imagine that it's made up of the hundreds of thousands of little parts that we got, right? So here's one of three. I'm going to creep up. The last thing that will go is the chin. And then I'm going to go in reverse from the tailbone. <laughs> Last thing that's gonna be affected is the chin and, and neutral, go again. I'm gonna do that three times. They should be really slow. Again, don't worry if people are like, I don't get it, I'm not very good at it. That's why you're doing it. Um, then you will do three in either direction wrist circles. So the palms stay flat. I'm gonna sit back on the heels, go as far to the right as I can go, go as far out over the arms as I feel I can go, and then left, and then back. Try not to get too much of this thing happening. Three in one direction, three in the other. Of weighted wrist circles. Then you're gonna come up to standing. So here we got a little bit quicker section. I'm gonna go five arms, I'm gonna do this twice. Five swings forward, five swings backwards, five out and across, the book chain breakers, five on each side, leg swings. Make sure when you do leg swings that it stays straight on the back side and they're not doing something that looks like this. Cool. And then five on the left side. Whoop. And then 10 reverse lunges with a twist. Two, three, nine. 
10, then pogo jumps, 10 up and down, 10 side to side, and then repeat, five forward, five backward, five across, five on the right, five on the left, 10 total, 10 total, 10 total. Cool? Third group, core and cardio. This one's gonna go fast. Every time I move, I'm gonna count that. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I do jumping jacks, it'll be counted a little weird, but that's how it worked out. One, two, three, four. So you get the gist. Every time I move, that's a count. Cool? So I'm gonna do this three times. Eight high knees. Eight mountain climbs. Eight jumping jacks. Eight plank jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight penguins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight cross reaching crunches. One, two, not full step. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Get the idea? Fast. Three times through, hang out, get a little bit of water, chat about it, and then off to your class. As always, use as much of it or as little of it as you want to in your classes or in your personal practice. Again, this one was a little bit more uh, mobility heavy by request from both students and some of the other trainers. Um, it's November, let's enjoy ourselves, let's get after it. Um, I would really like to get a meeting soon with all of us together just to hang out. Um, I miss seeing most of you guys. I don't get to see y'all a lot between two gyms and two kids and a myriad of other stuff that I have personally going on, but I wish we could hang out and work out and just chill and, and know each other a lot more, a lot better, a lot more often. Um, I do really miss that a lot and I'm something that I'm gonna try and solve as much as possible. Uh, so I wanna see you guys together as a group, hanging out. Uh, that's it. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll talk to you later.